It says a uh, camera weighing some amount of weight. Uh, let me give it a symbol. Some weight falls from a small drone hovering over. Okay, this is gonna be some kind of height overhead and enters free fall. All right, so I, I find it comforting to just sketch out a situation so that I know what it is that I'm dealing with. I have drone, sorry, I can't draw drones. Um, there's some camera package that's gonna fall down. It says some um, height H and it has, met, uh, it has weight W. Um, what is the gravitational potential energy change of the camera from the drone to the ground? Ah, from the drone to the ground, if you take a reference point of ground being zero gravitational potential energy, okay. So the first question is, imagine that you are defining your coordinate system so that this is your y equals zero. Then uh, remember the expression for the gravitational potential energy. Gravitational potential energy is mg times the vertical uh, coordinate of whatever it is you are looking at. So if this is y equal to zero, your um, initial gravitational potential energy would be mg times the y coordinate at height h, which is h. And your final gravitational potential energy would be zero. So the difference of gravitational potential energy is your final minus initial. Um, so it's going to be mgh. Um, let me just have them. Let, let's just make sure. It seems so simple. Let me make sure I'm not making any mistakes. Um, I don't know if I have a h defined yet. Um, so my graph difference in gravitational potential energy is m times g times h. Let me plug in the numbers I have. Um, substitute m is equal uh, with um, um, so we could say mgh <laughs> um, in terms of the quantities that they are giving us. This uh, mg is w, so it will be w times y. So let me plug it in that way. Um, so let me define variable of w. And our change in gravitational potential energy is W times H, substituting in W of 11 newtons and H of 30 meters. Oh, I could have done this in my head, 330. Uh, okay. Just too focused on doing the other thing that I didn't realize. From ground, what is the potential energy from the, oh, sorry, um, sign error. A final minus initial, so final minus initial is zero minus mgh or w times h or um, minus wh. So it's going to be negative of the number I put it, minus 330. Okay, um, it's, and the second one, the drone being zero gravitational potential energy. Okay, so for the second question, we are saying uh, we don't define our reference in this initial way. We define it this way. Let's say the position of the drone is where y is equal to zero. So with the definition, your y coordinate here is zero. So your potential energy there would be zero. When it has fallen to the ground, so you do have to be careful. You are downward, so your y values will be negative. It'll be at minus uh, h. So your final gravitational potential energy will be at weight times minus h. Now, here's the thing. When you take the difference of the final potential energy minus the initial potential energy, so final, potential energy minus WH minus initial potential energy zero, that difference ends up being the same as what it was before. Difference hasn't changed. So we do say this, that when you're dealing with the potential energy, the only thing that's meaningful, physically meaningful, is the difference of potential energy. The absolute value or the whatever value of potential energy you might have it doesn't have a physical meaning unless you have some agreement on what the reference point is. But when you're talking of difference in potential energy, it always has physical meaning. 
Okay, so what is the gravitational potential energy of the camera with a reference point of zero gravity? Take the second person looking at a building uh, 30 meters from ground. So um, I guess uh, so. Th this would be the same reference point as the reference point of the drop because they are both at 30 meters, unless I happen to have gotten lucky <laughs> with uh, the um, randomization. So, so I'll use what I sketched out in green. So before it falls from the drone, it has a zero joule as its potential energy with uh, this particular reference point. And after it lands, um, it has a minus 330 joule. So good, a long question, but not difficult, uh, unless you make sign errors. <laughs>